Yeah, thanks, Wayne. So, yeah, um, great to spend time with you all. And uh, as Wayne mentioned, we, we wanted to uh, step back from some of the details um, that we've been discussing uh, in this community and, and just share a big picture vision as context as well for uh, some of the later discussion around, um, you know, feature requests and so forth. And so here is the product vision as it stands in a nutshell. Now, as you know, you know, startups are uh, basically a portfolio of hypotheses you know? and you know you then go to markets you learn what the market really thinks and you adjust and so this is a you know our current best hypothesis of the product vision which which will meet reality in the marketplace and you know um and be updated with feedback but that being said here here it is so our really next nine helps take the guesswork out of scale that that's what we're trying to do we're trying to help coaches and entrepreneurial teams take the guesswork out of scaling by guiding them through seven essential steps, which we think we can help them do faster, cheaper, better, uh, augmented with technology. Um, and ultimately, we're trying to help entrepreneurs achieve balanced business growth through um, working with advisors smartly, augmented with Nextline as a technology platform. And so, what are those seven critical steps? They fit into two buckets. The first is we're, we're helping you scientifically and systematically scale your business, the enterprise. And the second is to quickly scale your team, particularly the management team. So let's tackle them in that order, starting on the left with the business uh, side. Here, there are really four steps that we help take your business through. Um, and the, the, this is where the, the X-ray and the downstream features play the primary role. So obviously, firstly, the X-ray helps identify what's wrong. What are the root causes of chaos, inertia, stress, um, fires in the business? And generally, as we know, it's an absence of management system structures um, and processes to underpin a valuable company that can consistently deliver on all its promises to its stakeholders. And I include in that strategy and people and so forth. So identify the strengths and weaknesses um, across the organization, um, really for the first time, giving the advisor and, you know, so that's you, the coach or others, um, and the entrepreneur and their team, x-ray vision into the organization, granular, actionable x-ray vision. So that's the first step. Okay, so now I'm empowered. I know what's wrong. I know what the root causes are, but there are a lot of them. So... That leads to the next question, where do I start? And so the second feature is to prioritize. Prioritize where to start. You know, what are the gaps I should start with first? And then, of course, that leads to act. What do I do? And so the third feature is to give you action recommendations. And so when you combine feature two and three, really, features one, two, and three combined take you from not knowing why we're stuck and overwhelmed to having an action plan really a business building plan that's pre-prioritized, you know, rank ordered initiatives to tackle the deepest root cause issues, you know, causing your business to underperform relative to your ambitions as an entrepreneur and management team. And, and then of course, from there, you want to implement. So the, the uh, track and update feature or progress tracker helps you navigate business building. It helps you uh, assign responsibility, track, are we on track and manage according so that's the fourth feature, which, you know, Sam and his team have, you know, currently busy with them. There, there'll be a release very soon, bringing that to you and to your clients. So all of that under the first big heading here, scientifically and systematically scale your business. Whether you are a seasoned business coach or, a, you know, really starting this journey of being a, a business coach um, and quite, quite early in that journey, what this helps you with is very fast deliver high impact through precision focus on the top priority issues and getting to that point with greater confidence, greater speed, and lower cost than you would otherwise have. Um, now, a seasoned business coach may know everything that they need to know to get here, but this is just going to be a much cheaper and faster way to get there, enabling you to add much more value to your clients because you've got here faster and cheaper. And for you know a early uh, coaches early in their career, 
you got the confidence that all the science of how to scale a business has been baked into how this platform essentially thinks, um, the translating into a prioritized action plan, and you know, it gives you freedom to continue learning how to be a great seasoned business coach, knowing that actually your recommendations are, are pretty wise and mature from the outset based on deep science of business building and the codification of how seasoned business coaches think, and that's there to augment you. Um, just as a kind of a, a, a brief tangent there, I was watching a, a, a video interview with one of the founders of LinkedIn um, the other day is now a venture capital partner at one of the biggest VC firms in the US, Greylock Partners. And he was just saying, we've reached that point in history where within five years, there will be a co-pilot in every profession. And that co-pilot will be an AI tool built to be a co-pilot in that industry. So every industry, you will have a co-pilot. You will, right now, as we stand here, copywriters have chat GPT and here are content creators in general, but pretty soon lawyers will have an AI uh, co-pilot, which helps them like compile a version one legal agreement in three minutes. Um, and we believe Next9 can be that co-pilot for business coaches. It's not gonna make you, um, it's not gonna replace you. What it will do is, you with Next9 will replace business coaches without Next9 because you'll be faster, better, cheaper, you know, than a business coach without Next9. Um, okay, so that's the X-ray side of things. Scientifically and systematically scale your business. Now let's move on to quickly scale your team. So of course we know a lot of the time entrepreneurial teams, uh, probably 95% plus of the time, those teams. Um, are still growing and have a lot of blind spots and skill gaps and experience gaps relative to what the company needs of them right now as they scale. And so they've got to do a lot of things for the first time. They're going to learn by doing. So the, the next feature is what you've heard of as the academy. This helps them learn. How do I do it? I've got to do this task assigned to me by the CEO. How exactly do I do that? And so the main difference between you know, this feature and most uh, small business content features is the just-in-time nature of it. Instead of having to trawl through a massive you know, library of content, finding what they're looking for, or instead of being on a curriculum training program of mostly stuff that they don't need right now, you know, you're working on these, you know, these three projects. For each one, here's the content you need right now, here are the tools you need right now. Just-in-time, curated tools and know-how. So that's the academy. Um, that's how you scale your team as individuals learning how to do stuff for the first time as the business scales. But you know, a couple of months down the line, six months, nine months, 12 months, they're all pretty much going to face uh, the realization that even though they now know what to work on, they've got a plan, they've assigned accountability and they're tracking, and they've even got all the content and tools to do it, they still fail to execute. And every kind of 90-day checkpoint where they review how we did against the last 90 days priorities, they still just don't execute on most of this. And so that leads to the question, how do we start to execute consistently? And that's what the, you know, the level up uh, feature is there for. It's a gamified process to take them through a journey to overhaul the existing culture and operating system as a management team and shift them primarily from reactive to primarily proactive. And do that by building an operating system for scale. An operating system is culture, it's habits, it's systems, it's how we work as a leadership team, and to shift all of that from reactive to proactive. So that's the, you know, the, the, the level up function. And then over time, we tentatively thinking of adding an expert marketplace, because often, frankly, once the entrepreneurs have got the right tools and templates, they're going to get to a point where they're just like, oh, I need a legal specialist for this, or oh, I need a kind of a, a real tax expert on this. And so it's, 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 they'll sometimes have those people in the networks, but often they're, they're wondering, where do I find the right expert for this? And so, you know, it's logical for us because we'll know what are the top priorities for them in their business building journey to build an expert marketplace. And that's a great opportunity for our coaches as well, because coaches will be able to, um, uh, essentially create a profile for themselves in Next9 to, to be both coaches for those entrepreneurs who find us, um, you know, without a coach, 
uh, and are looking for a coach, but also to be experts in their field. So, you know, for example, if you're an ops specialist, you load yourself as an ops specialist on lean manufacturing or whatever, and then you get essentially leads through the marketplace. That's a tentative, um, you know, a product feature. We have not made a decision to build that, but there, there are good reasons for us to have that on the page because we think one day that's going to be a good idea. And so that is currently, you know, the, the vision. For, for Next9 as a smart business growth assistant that helps take the guesswork out of scaling by guiding coaches and entrepreneurial teams through these seven uh, critical steps to achieving balanced business growth. That's the vision in a nutshell. Uh, so hopefully that big picture gives you a sense where we're going, not to say it's right, just to tell you how we're thinking. And you know that kind of is a, is a context into which we then obviously receive your input and, and kind of consider it.